Hey everyone, here we are, part two. Uh, what are we, two years later? From when I posted the initial one of this? But anyway, I get requests from guys all the time on uh, on updates, so I uh, figured I could do a quick one here for you. YouTube only allows me 15 minutes for videos now, so I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet. I don't really remember what I've gotten since that last time, but uh, maybe we'll just do a quick tour anyway. Since last time, picked up a few extra stickers. Most of these just put on by uh, other co-workers, but uh, <laughs> just spares from the airplanes and really the only pressure that matters. It's, it's good to write it down to remember it. Um, I did mount a vise since last time. Uh, it's just a little four inch vise. Made some a little uh, aluminum jaw covers so that I can uh, change out and so it doesn't mar any material. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> Co-workers. Oh, you can't see it anymore. There it is. Co-workers having fun with my engraver on my new vise. Oh, and I clamp. We each, we each got one of these goats, so uh, management doesn't get my goat. I just, uh, I just clamp it in the vise so I don't get too rattled. As long as my goat's there, I'm, I'm decent. I just keep lock wire, cans of LPS usually, and then they get they get robbed pretty quick. And my my gloves and a little it's got a little rag holder, but uh, anyway, onto the top drawer, cups, liquor, and trash according to the the label. Kind of the same as what I used to have. Uh, I don't know in the last two years. I think I picked this up. Uh, one of these snap-on quarter-inch shallow extra shallow sockets. Uh, they've actually come in handy a few times, but man, they're expensive. I don't know if I would buy them again, but I uh, have needed them a few times and they were, they were really handy. Uh, what else? Specialty stuff. I picked up one of these Mac. Uh, what the hell's the deal with these bits? It's like a kind of, well, it's hex, but these are designed for taking out stripped hexes. And this is the particular size for uh, Beechcraft uh, air conditioning compressor, uh, rear cover uh, mounting bolts. They're hex and they always get stripped as shit. Um, just regular, again, aircraft is standard only. So standard socket sizes, 12 points and um, six points. I have uh, one of each, a set of each. Some crow's feet. Uh, these snap-on ones were expensive, but the quarter-inch ones—they—they're the only ones that really make them. So, kind of, kind of needed them. Um, Great tool universals. These also come in handy, and they were definitely on sale. They were way cheaper than the snap-on ones. Uh, I'm gonna get a whole set of these torque adapters, but this is one of the ones we move, use most frequent of anyway is the 11 16ths for uh, propeller uh, attach nuts on uh, the Saab 340. Uh, what else is different? Ratchets, I kind of kept it the same I think since last time I talked to you guys. Might not have had this gear wrench 120 XP. I don't mind the thing, like uh, I use it every once in a while but yeah, I don't know. Nothing really terrible to say about it. It sounds like a zipper when you're turning it. 120 teeth is kind of crazy. It's got this slick little thing from Blackhawk, this ratchet, uh, the handle. Uh, I can't really do it with... <laughs> see it turning? So it can get in tight, tight spaces. You can use it as a normal ratchet or you can get it on the end of a nut or bolt and just turn your wrist so interesting but I, I actually not even sure if I've used this ever <laughs> I don't know 50 bucks it's one of those things on Amazon that you just figure oh shit that's gonna be awesome for that one time and uh, yeah like I, it looks brand new because it still is I've never used the damn thing and the usuals as you can tell, aircraft maintenance again, like we do with small hardware, so I have an excessive amount. Like, why the hell do I have? I actually have seven quarter inch drive ratchets here. Like, <laughs> now that I think about it, it's kind of ridiculous, but honestly, in a, on a 
busy day I'll have sockets on like four of them so it, it works out uh, what else Mac wrench set nothing too fancy I bought these I got an awesome deal on these gray tools this is a 11 piece uh, wrench set these things are beautiful I really like using these and I don't know I find the tolerance tighter on these than I do these so these are these are kind of nice I didn't want to pay full price for any snap-on stuff like that anyway so rock and deal on these and I thought hey I'll get a nice wrench set uh, don't mind this stupid amount of adapters here this is a uh, wheel nut Saab 340 it's my half inch stuff just kind of I hardly ever use it ever like these kind of sit here oh well, pick this up I've actually used this a few times now this is kind of handy it's got a chain inside so picture a chain and two sprockets on the end so you're working on this end down here you got something you can't quite reach you put a normal ratchet on that end and it gives you kind of an extension that maybe to an area you can't get at I've actually used this a few times and it's uh, it, it worked quite well I forget the amount of torque uh, the guy said the Mac guy said that I can put on that but I mean obviously the quarter inch one you're not gonna be putting ridiculous stuff on there uh, I picked up set uh, on eBay of these genius double box ends they're actually kind of slick they were again like 50 bucks Canadian and uh, which way better than the snap-on set the only thing is the smallest it went was 5 16 and we need quarter inch so I had to bite the bullet I when the snap-on dink came I friggin he got me on this one but whatever it, I needed I need the quarter inch so but I still came out ahead. I still spent way to, way less than uh, I would have on a whole whole friggin' set. Uh, breaker bars, three eighths, half inch, Burger King coupons. Same old headlamp I had before. Still rock this thing. It's awesome. I like it. Bought a UV light. This is great for finding oil leaks. Uh, turbine oil and even 5606 hydraulic fluid kind of they show up. Uh, especially on like engine cases and stuff and uh, if, if you have like a leaky flange and you that you clean off you go to a run you come back and it, it's really hard to see so this thing will show it to you and a couple other flashlights usual extensions eight minutes already I gotta hurry this up screwdrivers bought a gear wrench set I like it because it comes shadowed uh, it's really nice uh, again, snap on ratcheting screwdrivers. I bought the mini one. I don't think I had that last time. Ba uh, sorry, best ratcheting screwdrivers bar none. Even bought the longer extension for whatever one I want to put it in. Best ratcheting screwdriver. Uh, an all cotter pin pick. A couple of really long screwdrivers. I've used those a few times. Pliers drawer probably looks about the same as last time. Uh, oh, I picked these up. Uh, Nipex again they make among the best pliers in the world these little cutters here high leverage ones will cut like friggin piano wire for king air uh, gear door hinges and stuff like it's just they're unreal uh, cut, cuts with the breeze anything by Nipex is, is just awesome got the regular old cutters here I put a bit of silicone in the head to catch the uh, lock wire and cotter pins that we cut Nifty, nifty little idea. I can't say I came up with it though. Pretty empty drawer, just big pliers, some tin snips that I hardly ever use. Forceps, these actually come in handy. I got these on Amazon, they're dirt cheap. Uh, if you're in the industry, get yourself a set of those. Uh, this is my drilling drawer and kind of grinding, I guess. Got a small, uh, I got a it was a, a two-piece deal when I bought this. There's another one, a bigger, uh, bigger drill. It's a decent price, so I use it every once in a while. It's not a bad little air drill. Uh, this is a nibbler for sheet metal. You uh, get a good angle here. See how the spring end is kind of there's this there's this block in there. You put your piece of aluminum in there. And you keep closing it, and this thing will nibble away at it comes in handy for making custom pieces 
uh, Quico's, I got um, Micro Stop there for countersunk, um, for drilling countersinks. Uh, snap on burrs, I think I had those last time. They also come in handy when you're you have a lot of material to take away than more than a nibbler could do. Uh, easy outs, drill gauges, cherry rivet gauge, a couple rulers. Uh, these little cheap rigid. Actually, these things are friggin' sweet. These are like a hundred bucks on. They come on sale all the time at Home Depot there. So, aviation guys, we don't need anything too terribly powerful. Something small that you can hold above your head for half the damn day when you're taking like leading edges off and shit. Good little drill. This is my sad electrical drawer. It's a mess, I know. Some crimpers, strippers. These Klein catapults are awesome. I love these things. And uh, yeah, these are these are really good too for when that can't get it. Uh, this is one of my more recent purchases actually. This is six inch Mitutoyo caliper, digital caliper. This thing's freaking awesome. It just feels so much better. Paperwork, spare hoses. Oh, this is my bendy funnel I got from Mac. I'm sure other people make it. This thing is sweet. This is like the another awesome purchase recently. You can like tailor fit it to, to where you're working. So when you're in the back end of a PT6, you can get this thing hanging underneath the uh, high pressure fuel bowl and like with the end coming out out in the of the cowl and have a bucket down below and you don't need to spill a drop it's awesome or Saab 340 uh, propeller gearbox oil changes this thing fits right under that chip detector you pull the chip, chip detector assembly out and let that oil just chooch out onto this thing and again no no mess uh, standard old bullshit drawer good luck finding anything in there but uh, spare parts other more wrenches, a uh, couple ratcheting box ends here. People keep slamming this drawer on me when they're in here. Oh, snap on um, speed handle here. I went and bought this, traded up the old one for this reason alone. Just this knob is, is awesome. It's a great knob. You can put your palm into that knob and just lean into her. But, uh, yeah, still the same old power fist angle wrenches. Some bigger wrenches, don't use them too often. Ratcheting wrenches, ratcheting minis. And in here is my ignition wrenches in here and other stuff, custom one. My new favorite scrapers. The snap-on ones are all right. I still like these things. But um, these, uh, where is it? Here's the label. Just in time tooling. Uh, I think you got these from Aircraft Spruce. And this is my angry drawer, clamping, beating, punching, filing. Um, not sure if I showed you guys this last time, but uh, this, is, this is my PT6 oil filter puller. Really old guard guys I used to work with uh, showed me this trick. And uh, this thing has pulled out hundreds and hundreds of PT6 oil filters. And no, I haven't damaged any one of them. Like, people get over yourselves. You don't need a, a fancy uh, puller tool. And the bottom drawer is just full of my uh, management appeasement pads and cancer avoiders. Uh, spare parts. A little purse. A couple other odds and ends, like hex kits and whatnot. I'm not sure. I don't think I had these last time. Bought this set a while back. Again, awesome deal. I'm always looking for a good deal. I think there's, how many is there in there? I don't even remember. Laying tools on Amazon is a great price. Adjustable snap ring pliers. And um, quality on them is actually better than you think you, you would have got for, for what you paid. So I would highly recommend these. Anyway, yeah, I better leave it at that. Um, <laughs> I might be over my 15 minutes already, so I'll have to do some editing. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you want to see more, just hit me up and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, take it easy, guys.